Welcome to Data Project Hub. In today's video, we will solve a tricky SQL interview question, which is very common in whichever SQL interview that you are going to attend. At least 90% of the SQL interview or data analyst interview that you are going to attend, this is a sure shot question. So the question is, find the total number of output with respect to each join. And the tricky part in this question is the data the interviewer is going to give us. So it can consist of nulls, it can consist of duplicate values and we should be able to identify that particular case and predict the number of output with respect to each joins. So here we are going to see such two tables in which we have nulls and duplicate values and we are going to predict the number of output with respect to inner join, left join, right join, full join and cross join. And the table and the schema to create the table will be provided in the description. You can create it on your own. So let me query the two tables first. So first what we will do here is we will try to see the two table then we will try to predict the number of output with respect to each join and then we will come back to SSMS and write query for the same and see if the number of output that we have predicted is equal to the number of output that we are getting using the SQL query. So these are the two tables that we are going to use. I have created the exact same table in Excel. Let us go through that and predict the output in Excel. So this is the table one which has got six records starting from 1 and we have 2 nulls and there is a record corresponding to 2. So in total we have 6 record. In table 2 we have 4 records in total 1, 2, 3 and we have a null in the table 2 corresponding to the ID column. So here the first join that we are going to consider is the inner join. So here we will see the number of records that we are going to get for inner join. So corresponding to inner join it will be considering all the records which are matching with respect to both the tables. So since here we have only one column, we don't have to consider any other column or any other condition. Only we have to consider the ID column and predict the number of output with respect to inner join. So corresponding to table one, we have three repeating three, sorry, we have one repeating three times. So in table two, we have one repeating only one time. But corresponding to inner join, we will be having in the final output three repeating, sorry, one repeating three times. So the number of output corresponding to one will be three. So the next record that we are going to consider is record 2 which is appearing in table 1 as well. So corresponding to 2 there will be 1 in the sorry 1 record in the final table and null we are not going to consider in inner join and there won't be any null in the final output for inner join. So the number of output with respect to inner join will be 4. So that is the first output. In total we have 4 records corresponding to inner join. Now let us go to SSMS and see if the number of output that we are getting in SSMS is the same. Now here we will write the query for inner join. So the two tables that we are going to use are table 1 and table 2 and select star from table 1 inner join table 2 and we are going to write the join condition table 1 dot id equal table 2 dot id execute this and see the number of output that we are going to get. So corresponding to inner join, the number of output is 4. So 1 is repeating 3 time and 2 repeating only 1 time. So the predicted output and the number of output that we are getting in SSMS is same. Now let us see the output for the second join which is the left join. So corresponding to left join, we will have all the records from table 1 and common records from table 2. So we will have all the ones repeating in the final output. So we have 3 records corresponding to 1. 3 plus we have two nulls repeating in the final output that is two records corresponding to null plus one record corresponding to two so that is the number of final records that we are going to have in the left join so the total number will be six now let us go to ssms and see the number of output for left join when writing the sql for the same and we will copy the same query the only change that we are going to make here is we are going to change the inner join to left join left join now execute this and we will get the number of outputs so we have six records corresponding to left join now let us go and see the number of output corresponding to right join corresponding to right join we will have all the records from table one sorry table two and common records from table one here also corresponding to the record one we will have three records that is three repeating three times so we will have three records three plus 
and the second record which is common to both the table is 2 so 2 is repeating only one time that is 1 plus and 3 is not there in the table 1 but 3 is coming in table 2 and since we are taking a right join we have to consider 3 in the final output so that is considered as a single record and the third record will be null which is repeating only one time so the output will be the number of records that is 6 so now let us see what is the number of output that we are getting in right join we will copy the same query paste it here and instead of left join right right join execute this and the number of output is 6 now we will see the number of record corresponding to cross join cross join will join all the records from the first table with all the records in the second table so we have six records in first table and four records in second table so in total six into four which will give us 24 so six into four will give us 24 now let us write a cross join and see the number of output that we are getting corresponding to both the tables you will copy the same query but with respect to cross join we don't want this join condition and the right join will be modified to cross join now execute this and we will see the number of output we are going to get so the number of records are 24 yeah see the number of record is 24 corresponding to cross join so that is also correct and the final join that we are going to see is full outer join or full join so full join will take all the records from table 1 and all the records from table 2 even if there are no common record, the records will be present in the final output. So, taking the record 1, 1 will be repeating 3 times, that is 3, plus 2 nulls are repeating, so 2 plus 2 will be there in the final output, and here also there is a 2, so 2 will be repeating 1 time, plus the 3 which is coming in the second table, that is that will be repeating 1 time, corresponding to 1 row, and finally there will be one more null column so plus one so the total number of output will be eight three plus two plus one plus one plus one so the number of records will be eight now let us go to ssms and write query for the full outer join or full join so we will copy the same query corresponding to right join and instead of full sorry instead of right join use full join or full outer join both will give us same result i am using full outer join execute this and we can see the number of records which is 8 which we have obtained in excel so these are the number of records which we will get corresponding to each join using sql with respect to the input table that we are having it would be good if you can practice the same logic in multiple questions and see the number of output that you are going to get for different questions also i will provide one more question in this video and this is the question these are the two other table that is table 3 and table 4 now try predicting the output of inner join left join right join cross join and full join for the two table before writing the query and finally write the query and see if you have predicted the correct number of records for each of the joins hope you like this video thanks for watching and subscribe for more Thank you.